Hi, friends around the world. I am here joined by Hannah Ratnam from Persecuted Church. Um, Hannah has a burden for uh, the Persecuted Church around the world and um, through connections in the local church that we both attend, uh, Christian Life Assembly in Langley, uh, we connected and I thought to have, uh, to just have her here and share a little bit about her vision. So Hannah, every dream has a starting date. And for you, that date was September 19, 2013. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened on that day? Good morning to everyone and you, praise the Lord. Um, I had a dream on 19 September, 2013. And in that dream, I was there. I saw a white color church. And in that church, there is some event happening, some uh, kind of a special day is happening. Kids are having white uh, dresses. The church is full. And uh, I could see there are two men who are trying to get in the church and they are roaming around the uh, boundary of the church. And I quickly tell somebody that there is somebody who's trying to get in the church and they have guns in their hand. And all of a sudden, as soon as I said that, that one of the guy came in the church and he blasted himself, suicided. And then from there, the whole thing was so much like disaster. Um, in my dream, I saw many, many people died. Many got injured. There was blood all over the church. Uh, children are crying. There is police, ambulance and whatnot was there. And that noise was in my ears, like as if I'm hearing it. I was in Canada in my bedroom having this dream uh, with my family staying here. But uh, God gave me that supernatural dream. And then after that, I woke up and I said, Lord, I don't know what's happening where. And I really don't know which church is this, but I could, I saw their faces. I couldn't feel that they are um, my people. I had that feeling that this is somewhere in Pakistan, but I was not sure. I guarantee that this is the place. And that's all it that happened. And with that dream, I did pray generally, I would say not too much. Um, and then on 22nd, September 2013, a news came in the TV and everywhere that the bomb blast happened in Peshawar, uh, All Saints Church. So when uh, we were watching the TV, I just remembered, I said, I've seen this somewhere. I don't know where. I usually write in my generals. So I opened one of them and I said, I think I've seen the same place somewhere before. Before as well, my daughter knew it. And I said, let me see, when I open, I flipped the papers and it was there. And I was so, so sad and so uh, guilty and embarrassed. And I repent that day and I said, Lord, I will never ever take your word so ignorantly or just saying that this is a dream. This is just because I saw something or I has watched TV. Some people said that this is your brain, but then I said, no do that i will 100 percent pray it's dream or it's a vision mm. wow <laughs> amazing and so that experience uh launched you into what you're doing today which um i believe it involves filmmaking and writing scripts so tell us a little bit of how that experience has now catapulted you into your ministry what is it about and uh what has a, what has been accomplished so far my job after having that dream and repenting with god um that day i will intercede so my job was sitting in a corner every day morning four o'clock till six seven whichever time i have praying for the persecuted church because that that dream I can never forget. I can never, um, this is real. And the noise which I heard and the pain which I saw, um, I said, no, I will pray. And I really prayed for five years, six years for them. I had no clue where this is going. 
I was just praying, simple prayer and fasting and reading Bible and sending, releasing angels of army for them, for their protection, for recovery and what, whatever they need right now. After five years, I heard a voice, uh, God said, um, Christian media. So I said, Lord, what is this? What do I do with this? And I quickly Googled and I found there is a, um, um, and so I told them my story. I went there, I came back and everybody said, you have great story, but you have to write a script. This way you can take this story to the world. And I don't know how to do that. I'm not expert in writing or my English is not good too. I have my, um, so I don't know how to write. And then I said, Lord, okay, if this is your will, send me somebody who can help me writing professionally a script. So I started looking. I did not find anybody. It took me two years just praying for that script writer. And then one day I wrote on Facebook and I said, somebody who can help me with this. And right away I got uh, another uh, one girl, a lady. She said, um, I'm interested. And then we start talking and within six months she wrote the script. Uh, we found there is a film festival happening and there are a lot of Christian uh, festivals around the world. I submitted there and I got the award. The first award, first time written script the best story the best screenplay and then it never end by now hannah's dream has won seven and there's another one which we wrote that is called believe that has won four awards by now so this is all god's grace i had no understanding when i had this dream where this will go what will happen i don't know nothing by then that's an incredible story. Um, and so it's, it seems that the dream has give you a burden that burn it, the burden sort of like uh, gave birth to, to a vision and God brought the person or an individual that will help you um, sort of take the first step. Um, mm -hmm. And so uh, you said that Hannah's Dream has received six awards. Is that correct? Seven. Seven Yesterday, awards. there's another one which I'll post it on my Facebook soon. Great. Well, <laughs> congratulations. And so thank you. You've taken the first steps. You were faithful, um, of course, faithful in, in praying uh, out of your dream, through your dream, and now sort of like into the vision that God has for you. Um, and um, God has opened doors, have brought people, mm -hmm. and now we're here today, uh, 2021, mm -hmm. and uh, I know that there's a lot of things in your heart that you feel uh, God has yet to accomplish, and mm -hmm. so um, how can someone come alongside you to help you in maybe a future project? So tell us a little bit about what the next project is and, and how can someone uh, bring support to that? Um, I just want to mention one thing before I go to that uh, question of yours. My first award was given uh, on 19 September, 2020. So when I received that day I didn't remember and one day I was praying and God told me this is the same date 19 September 2013 and 19 September 2020 so when I calculated exactly seven years wow. so God gave me that time to pray intercede and my gift for that um sacrifice i would say that was my honor which god gave me that i got that award that same time same date and then it never stopped so this is something which i wanted to share um for now what i'm uh, we are in second stage now we are looking for a production so to do the production we need for now a lot of uh, volunteers I'm, I'm looking for funding from government. There's a lot of funding available for women in film, first time filmmaker, uh, women with color. There's so many things they have criteria and I think I fit most of it. But 
I need help with proposal writing, uh, budget making, uh, business plans, uh, contacting companies, uh, starting generating funds. So maybe contacting organization for sponsorship, um, donors, anybody who would like to donate anything. We are looking for a place where we can have our own production company. Um, I need a lot of people who can do marketing, advertising, promotion, uh, arranging some kind of um, awareness online with YouTube, with whatever they know. So whatever gift God has given you, you are blessed with gifting. Please come and help me so I can bring this to the world. And I'm God has also put this burden on my heart that I will take this to um, human rights as well, because this is about the persecution of uh, Christians and there are women and children involved. There were 90% women and children who got persecuted that day. Wow, amazing. And uh, what what's the website uh, that people can go to if they're interested in, in being part of, of all of this? Um, my website and my Facebook has same name, Hannah, H-A-N-N-A-H, and my last name is Ratnam, R-A-T-N-A-M. You can Google you, my YouTube, even my uh, web page. So um, if you need any contact, uh, any anybody wants to contact me, you can call me. My phone number is 604-417-6345. Um, you can email me, phone me, Facebook, chat, whichever you feel like, please contact. Yes, and I will be providing links to the website and um, Facebook page and all social media links um, at the description of this video. So if you're interested, you can go and click there. One last question, Hannah, and um, we've been talking a little bit about the persecuted church and um, I, I have a burden for the persecuted church. Um, my parents-in-law uh, fled Iran. Uh, they were Arme ethnically Armenian, but they fled Iran, um, you know, during the time of the Islamic Revolution. So mm. I'm very acquainted with the persecuted church. And um, uh, we in Canada or in North America, um, we, we obviously take great pride on the fact that we <clears throat> live in countries where we can freely worship. Mm. Um, and that's an amazing thing to be celebrated. But uh, what can you tell the North American church about the importance of, of the persecuted church around the world? How, how, uh, how can we as, uh, as people of God that have this ability to freely worship, mm. uh, get involved and inspire um, mm. to make a difference with persecuted Christians around the world? Um, first of all, I'd like to request all of you to please pray for me for this ministry pray for this uh, mission and vision because it is not anymore my dream this is god that this was god's dream which he used me to have it and bringing all the people bringing the script bringing award this is nothing about me anymore i do not had credit of anything i never thought of i never desired i never wanted to do anything I never wanted to go back to Pakistan. <laughs> I said, no, I'm here now, I'm done. But God wanted me to go back and do this for, for the same community, same country. So it is kind of a calling. Uh, it is my now mission. It is my passion. And I just need people to pray because without prayer, nothing can happen. So whatever has happened till now, it's I think because of prayers. And if you join together fast and, and intercede, I think we can do a lot of things for the body of Christ, the bride who's been uh, persecuted, the people, the children who are uh, neglected or ignored or they are left alone. They need people like us to pray for them and we can bring them out from that hell. Great. Well, thank you for that. And um, yeah, great reminder that uh, we are to pray for our brothers and sisters around the world um, that are being persecuted for their faith. 
Hannah, this has been a, a great time that we have had together. Thank you so much for sharing. And once again, the links to her website and uh, social media pages will be in the description of this video. Um, and in that way, you can uh, become more acquainted with um, Hannah's uh, ministry. And Hannah, just as a personal note, we're, we're praying for you and cheering you on that God may just continue to open doors to, to tell this wonderful story. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.